six with the Rehabilitation Hospital of Indiana. Today, we're in a live gym. It's called uh, Taylor Made Wellness over here in downtown Indianapolis. All right? Today, we're going to have some fun. All right? Today, you're going to learn. We're going to do our conditioning first. All right? We're going to learn a new uh, boxing combination. And then, then we're going to get into how to hit the heavy bag once we go to a uh, live session. Uh, don't know when actually that's going to be, but it will be coming soon. All right, so stay tuned. So, all right, worked out. Hope you warmed up, stretched out before before the session. But we're going to get ready to get into the warm up. So let's do it. Okay. We're going to do the jogging flicks. Nice tricks, job. Warm up. Breathe. Shoulder rotations. Forward. Backward. All right. Two shoulder. This time you go wide. And back. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job. All right. Rotating the arms. Stretch out that chest. Good job. Uh -huh. Beautiful day out today. Five, four, three, two, one. It's almost like a side straddle hop or triple jack. Stretch out lower chest. Stretch out flat. Five, four, three, two, one, good job. All right, actually, kick it up a little bit. Stretch out those glutes, hamstring. Five, four, three, two, one, good job. Remember, feet short of the part. We'll do cherry pickers. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job. All right, step up on it. Back in the same position. Stretch out our, our pecs, our shoulders. We're going to stand up front like this. Hands front. You rotate your arms like such. Stretch that chest out. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, good job. All right, keep, keep moving, keep moving. Okay, we're gonna get our punches. Let's get it. Get hands up, rotating punches. All right, work with me. Remember, bring your hands back to your face. Stretch out that back. Same time you're throwing a punch. Now we're going down. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Now we're going to do the same thing. Stay in your hips and keep your hips in place. Stretch up. Get them arms out. All the way out. We're going up.
and down. Are you ready? We're going back to rotation. One, five, four, three, two, one. Same thing, you see it. 
My foot is rotating out. I'm going to bring the punch out. You want to add a torque behind you. So again, let's push out. That's the lead uppercut. Alright. Keep working at it as, as we're talking. Speed it up. It's pretty much want to look, make it look like this. We use an actual fight. Or just to work out. That's how that lead up should be executed. Fast and quick and back to your hands. Don't leave your fist out there because you're going to get hurt. Alright? So, that's the lead uppercut. Okay. Next is the rear uppercut. I'm sorry, I need to step back for a minute. This lead uppercut is your five. Your rear uppercut is your six. Okay? So, always remember, you, all your even punches come from your power. So your two, your four, and your six across the rear hook. And now I'm going to show you the rear uppercut. Okay? So you're in position. Okay? Now the same thing follows as far as hand position. But when you throw that punch or that, that uppercut, you want to make sure you're rotating it, just like you do the two and the four. Rotate that hip. Rotate, get down a little bit, rotate that hip, and you almost chip a little bit to your power. You give that extra push off. So when you do it, you shift a little, you come as such. See how my foot comes up? It's like at the same time. You see it's right in front of my face, my up. Okay? I'm going to show it to you from the side. Come back up. Short range, medium range, long range. But you want to get low at a long range like that. But like I said, I really don't advise it too much, but sometimes you got to improvise when you're, if you're going to actually spar with somebody. So we're going to do it again. Going. All right. It's pretty much at the end. I wanted it to look like this. All right. That's the uppercut. That's the uppercut. Okay. Wipe your face off. We're gonna learn a new combo. Jab. 
rear uppercut, as soon as you get rear uppercut, back, lead uppercut. But when you do it, that lead uppercut kind of shifts so you can get into it. So it'd be jab, rear uppercut, shift, lead uppercut. Jab, rear, shift, lead uppercut. Jab, six, shift, lead uppercut. Jab, six, lead uppercut. All right? One, six, lead uppercut. All right? Because you want that lead uppercut to either go to the body or go up to the face. You know what I'm saying? So, Mike Tyson is very good. We're very good at that. But most times he's just going, he's just going, lead, uppercut, rear, lead, rear, lead. Or he goes rear, lead, and then add, add a hook to the end. Okay? Lead hook to the end. Okay? So, matter of fact, let's add that right now. So, again, jab, rear uppercut, shift, lead uppercut. Be hooked. Because sometimes you hit that body, the body's gonna go this way when you hit that lead uppercut and end it with a hook. You got him. Alright, so let's try it again. Jab, rear uppercut, chip, lead uppercut, lead hook. It's a good inside jab. But the jab, what you're gonna do, remember, yes, you want to straight out, but you want to kind of, as a feint. A feint is kind of like a fake. Fake punch. All that is just showing your distance. Make that make that person move so they can come into your rear. So if I'm jabbing at you, if I'm jabbing at you, going up like this, most of the time your opponent is gonna either shift to your outside, meaning he's gonna shift that way. To avoid that jab. So when they're shifting, right? Shifting, you can Give the rear, front, and hook. Because they're all shifted that side. Alright? So even if you that rear, that rear uh that rear uppercut hits the body, you shift, lead, uppercut, hook to the head. So he's already hurt him one side, hurt him uh, low, hurt him high. Okay? So let's show, let's do it again. Jab. Lead up, rear uppercut, shift, lead uppercut, hook. Now when I do that, lead uppercut, now hand back, then hook. Don't hook. Lead uppercut, then try to go over to a, a lead hook. Because he can get you. So you want to lead uppercut, face back, hook. Okay? So let's do it. Jab, rear uppercut, shift, lead, hook. Okay, jab, rear, shift, lead, hook. Jab, rear, shift, lead, hook. Jab, jab, rear, shift, lead, hook. Jab, rear, shift, lead, hook. Do it again. Jab, shift, Chip, lead, hook. All right, keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, good job, good job. That was your combination for today, for this session. Now, I'm gonna put my handy dandy gloves on. Some good gloves I got because they're real nice and tight. You want, you, you want it tight so, so your wrist won't be mobile. Even though you got hand wraps, in one session I'm going to sit down and actually show you how to do hand wraps. Matter of fact, next session. Nice and tight, snug. If you need assistance, you know, you need somebody to assist you. You know, I'm going to set, practice uh, social distancing or maybe have some. Uh, 
Apex that gloves at the gym or whatever. The sister put it on. But for me, I've been doing this for a while, so pretty easy. Do it myself. All right, you got your gloves on, right? Nice up, make sure it's snug. Now, when you do, when you get up on a heavy bag, heavy bag is always in front of you, but you always treat it like it's your opponent, right? And what I mean by treating it like it's your opponent, if you punch the bag, most people will get up, get the bag, and do one of these on Right with the bag. You need them. They're pushing the bag. If you want to fight somebody, it's pushing. People think you get power out of it. You're not. Okay? So first, you get your boxing stance. You get your boxing stance. And you set distance between you and the bag. Depends on how tall you are, how big you are, how little, whatever. This is the in the bag. This is what's going to happen. I'm going to just throw a simple jab at the bag. Keep my distance. But like what I showed you in the previous session, if you go back and look back, you want to step into the punch. Matter of fact, last session, I showed you where you step into the punch. Okay? Because it gives you power. So, for instance, Back here, make sure you're on distance. Now this is what it's supposed to look like. So I stepped into it. Okay? Again, I'm gonna do a throw jab. Keep doing do the same thing one Imagine you're you got a bag in your home. Alright, or you're at the gym. And then there's a bag. Heavy bag. All right, step into it. Always bring it back to your face, okay? So, kind of go back to the numbers a little bit of how we're going to punch, how to punch with it, all right? In a little bit, we're going to do these same, practice these same principles. But if you're going to simulate you're on a heavy bag, or if you have a heavy bag of your own, or at a gym, you can do it practice this way. But so when I throw the jab, I'm pulling with two. So I'm just good. One, two. Now it should be simultaneous. Got how fast I came up with that two? Because I put seven in the front. One thing you don't want the bag to be doing is swinging either, like such. Because your opponent's not going to swing. He's going to start to stay there, or he's going to try to move. All right? So, let's get it. One, two. One, two. Step back. One, two. Step back. One, two. Step back. Get back in your position, okay? So that was the one two. And then we're going to do the one two and add the three in, the, in this exercise for heavy back. I'm not going to show you how to do an uppercut on the heavy bag because the heavy bag is not meant for uppercuts. Okay? You learn how to do uppercuts. Now in some gyms they have uppercut, uppercut bags where it looks like a big double bag. Or they have aqua bags with like a big water tier at, at some gyms. But I advise not to use the upper cut on heavy bags unless you're going to go like this to simulate. You don't want to mess with your, your, your wrist, okay? So, going back to our set. Back position. We're going to do one, two, three. How you hit the heavy bag. One thing too about the heavy bag is you gotta punch it. When you punch it, you gotta make sure you're like going through, like you feel like you're going through it. 
Don't tap it. So you have to think that you're fighting an opponent. You got the ability to just See how the bubble? That's how you want your opponent to bubble. Alright? So, okay, face wipe your mouth, get some water in, and we're gonna do some rounds. Also, granted, I'm probably going to stay more in this area just because of the cameras. But hey, move around like the shadow boxing. We're doing these for two minutes. Let me show you. Even though you're not going to remember to see me too well. Except for two minutes. I'm gonna turn it on, get ready. Come on. 
Do that rear hook. And hook again. Do these types of workouts together. 
and I guarantee you'll build some type of camaraderie. All right? Enjoy the rest of your week. I will see you soon, and have a great day.